Folks, come on over. We're decorating the living room for Easter. We're going to put that color back into the living room. Spring and Easter right here on my take on Home and Garden. It's going to be better. Let me take you and show you what I might want to use today. Here's that yellow arrangement that went missing. And we have a couple of wonderful peacock pillowcases in the Victorian style. Look at those beauties. More new pillow covers. We'll link in the description box. Just love the slightly worn look here and the combination of colors here for spring. More wonderful faded blue and white. Brand new for this year pillowcases in the William Morris design. And of course we'll link those in the description again under the video. Just love them. Here's the sweetest hanging plaque from Hobby Lobby last year. They still had these this year. We have various vintage looking tins that might make it into the living room. Now we'll go in there. We'll show you highlights of the big floor vases I'm going to put together with some beautiful florals. And let's look at how pitiful we have one gorgeous vase that you saw, an arrangement. Otherwise, we're void of excitement and any color on the tables, <laughs> pedestals. Good heavens, I'm getting the sweats. We'll change that. Let's look at what we can use to change it. We have beautiful birds, a duck, a cockatoo, another cockatoo, Mr. Bunny, Upright Bunny, Mr. Big Fat Bunny, and a wonderful vintage swan. We'll talk more about these when I show you all around. Mary and Child. Moses is staying. And we have a wonderful new Capo de Monte picture that I'm going to do an arrangement in. How about that beaut? We have Asian Easter eggs this year. A gallant horse head and alabaster Easter eggs. Still love these. Here's some of the florals I might use. Wonderful two, three kinds of hydrangea, roses. We have lysanthus and giant ranunculus some early chrysanthemum big boy easter egg here's some gladiola peony all righty let's get some projects going well we've got hydrangea how about some freesia what a combo, and I think I want to put it over on this table. Let's see how tall. Might be competing, but we're going to keep motoring. Now I'm working on weighted balance here. Egg, lamp, cockatoo. Then we've got to get some dominance order here. Mother and child would take the highest place, especially during this season. She 
just takes a little juggling and looking, rearranging, as you decorators all know. If you don't like what you did, it costs nothing to change it. You know that. <laughs> he is special. Oh, those gladiola. And of course, we'll watch that pop with those Asian vases. <laughs> Woo! They're so real and gorgeous. I think you'll see. And maybe you'll agree. I do want some highlights in here. I think it's just a bit dry. Dry as in dull. Not exciting. Dry. Maybe these yellow buds. Oh, pretty. Ooh. Another budding branch, and I think that's gonna do it. You know I love to put that big basket on the coffee table, but I've done that for a couple of years now, so gotta be different, right? Then we get a couple of bunnies. Oh, I thought it would be extra good there. I have some plates, tidbits, some more bunnies, and I'm gonna fine tune, and then we're gonna take it and show you all around. Okay guys, let's see our finished look in the living room. Spring Easter, right here. Did someone say he forgot the pillows? No, I just forgot them till I can show you all around. <laughs> now, if you were visiting, you would be comfortable here. We have vintage tin, Easter bunnies, tin signs, vintage glass covered dish bunnies, all designed to make you smile. We have our plant propagating area. and mother and child. Satsuma lamps and Asian eggs for Easter. A little different twist. Now I knew the pillow covers would be excellent and look how exotic with our peacock. All those early colors of spring that we've been using, just superb. And we'll mimic that again on the opposite end table with a wonderful wooden Curved Swan. Vintage, of course. Castle, floor, candlestick. Angels. Easter ponies. And this one's saying, I'm really proud of my egg. Look at the size of her. <laughs> and we're going to repeat with this sofa. I'm so pleased with the pillowcases. 99% of the time, and we're going to link those, like I said, in the description box.
which is found under any video. What else is found? Our two stores, our wonderful stores. Check it out. It's what keeps us here. It helps us stay right here. Here's one of my favorite vignettes. Oil painting, vintage plates, scants from Hobby Lobby. A bronze lamp in the Empire style. Austrian ceramic pedestal column. Just right, I thought, for Moses. We have khaki cockatoo repaired by me. If you want to see that, it's back on our channel. Pootie and the bronze candlestick. Sounds like a mystery novel. <laughs> a wonderful vintage MCM in the satin yellow vase. And here's our Easter welcome sign for inside the house. Love that there. Not overdone. Just enough. Then our William Morris. I knew I would be thrilled with those. Incredible design. And that is from the arts and crafts era. And here's our balance of wonderful gladiola. And I did find some violet delphinium. How about this basket? Some will say, I don't like too many flowers because it looks like a funeral home. I'd like to remind them that we're celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. It might be too many flowers for your birthday. It's not too many to celebrate him. Hopefully most agree and you don't have to agree, but here we are. Glorious and wonderful. The best we can do to show them our love. And we have Mr. Duck on the cabinet. <laughs> He's the lightest thing there going on. Just enough when you don't want to put your collection away. You can brighten it up for spring with him. And you know, we always have a little blue and white out. And we have our incredible Portugal set antique. And that was a Christmas gift to Angela one year. We always have our cobalt blue. Our Delft pieces from Holland. And then, of course, our baby blue, satin blue collection. We have those collections in a video, but it is time to redo them. 
We're going to redo them and they're going to be better than ever. Lovebirds by Fenton and a duck by Westmoreland. Now I'll do a quick 360 and guys, hopefully you enjoyed our decorate the living room with me. Spring 2024. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Tell us how you're doing. Love to hear about the different weather around the globe and hope everybody is healthy, wealthy, and wise. Someday, we want to get there too. <laughs> we try. So blessings and happy spring and Easter and we'll see you again. We have more to come. The main bedroom and the loft. Check it out guys next week. Be good. See you then. <laughs>